Let's class, let's continue. Okay. Now we are on procedure number five. In a small amount of water, since this is 20 ml, we need only 2 ml. So let's just estimate one tenth of this. Okay. Wait. More than. Okay. Oh, more or less. One tenth or 2 ml. We're going to dissolve a little amount of sugar crystals. Okay. These are the sugar crystals. 2 ml water. Okay. Let me stir it. Okay. What have you noticed as we mix the crystals of sugar with water? What happened to the sugar crystals as it mixed with water? Okay, where's the water crystals now? Ah, the sugar crystals. Okay, so note. Okay, record your observation. Okay, next procedure. happen to water as we continue the heating. So let's continue heating water. So note your note, take note and observe carefully what's happening to water as we continue the heating. Okay, it's starting to boil. Okay, let's leave that water boiling. Eh, I hope that is a very common experience of ours, boiling water. Let's leave it there. Okay. Now let's proceed to the next reaction. Okay. Note this. I pour in a small amount of alcohol, ethyl alcohol. Okay. Then let me ignite that. Okay. Look at what's happening to the alcohol as I ignite it. So that is ethyl alcohol after ignition. Okay. The burning of alcohol will continue until all alcohol is gone. Okay. Now let's go back to the boiling water. Okay. 
what have you noticed when it comes to the volume of water inside our evaporating dish as boiling and heating continues? Okay, it's almost gone, right? Okay, that's it. Let's go back to the alcohol. Let's see if there is still alcohol remaining. Okay, so there is a little left. Okay, now let's proceed to our next procedure. Igniting a piece of leaf, dried leaf portion, a portion of dried leaf. So try to ignite this. Note what will happen. Okay. Okay. Let's burn it completely. Okay. Okay, let's continue burning it, even if it is an ash or if it is charred already. Let's continue boy, uh, burning it or igniting it. Okay. But have you noticed the burnt piece of dried leaf material as we continue the burning even after it got charred? We continue the burning. Okay. What had become of our dried leaves as heating or burning or ignition continues? Okay, so this is quite comparable to, the, to our earlier demonstration on the ignition of activated charcoal. Okay, let's proceed to the next part of the experiment. Okay, a while ago we, were, we did prepare We did prepare two dilute solutions. This is for hydrochloric, this is for sulfuric acid. This is the dilute sulfuric acid. Note the color of our liquid. This is the dilute hydrochloric acid. Note the color of our liquid as I pour it into the test tubes. Okay. Okay. Try to note what will happen as I put small pieces of mousse zinc metal on sulfuric acid solution and hydrochloric acid solution. Note the events. Do your observation very intently and do jot down the observation. Record what you have observed. Okay. So, which do you think of the two solution is the reaction faster? Which of the two solutions is the reaction a bit slower? In this experiment, you're supposed to recall the concept on chemical and physical change as well as the concept on the indicators of chemical change. When can we say that only physical change is taking place? Or when can we say that there is a chemical change already? So what are the so-called indicators of chemical change? You can review in your lecture notes for that concept as you answer the questions for this experiment. Okay. The next experiment to follow is the melting of ice. You can imagine that. Do a top experiment on that procedure. Okay, pinatakamin it sa Ma'am Argeline. 